Hundreds of people turned out tonight for the unveiling of a very controversial statue. Yeah, it really is. The Satanic Temple of Detroit revealed the one-ton bronze statue. Uh, their message, they say, more about laws protecting religious freedom than about Satan. Priya Mann joins us live. Priya, I know there were some protesters out there this evening. Uh, did the event remain calm? Steve Sander, Detroit police say this was a relatively peaceful event. There were a few protesters early on that tried blocking the door so people couldn't get in to get tickets. They were told to step back, which they did. The Satan statue will be unveiled tonight at a secret location. As a small group of protesters prayed, hundreds waited for tickets to the unveiling of an eight foot tall bronze statue of a goat headed Satan. Most of the people here agree with the teachings of the Satanic Temple, the group responsible for the event. It's here, it's in Detroit, and this is fantastic that like we get to experience this and we get to see this amazing statue be unveiled for all the world to see. Many tell us they feel misunderstood and are quick to point out they do not worship the devil. Mostly about individuality. So the one thing I don't like is the backlash, but they have no knowledge or have no ears open to listen to it. Protesters took the heavy rainfall as some sort of sign and even brought their own statue of an angel crushing the devil. Western culture, Western civilization was built by the Catholic Church. So for them to come out and want to make a statement that all of this is horrible, it's rotten, it's, they, they don't, I feel sorry for them. I really, really feel sorry for them. Well, I think it's like, an unabashedly anti-Christian event, but you know I have no problem with that. Just like I don't really have a problem with protesters standing outside telling me I'm going to go to hell. The unveiling here in Detroit is historic. The Satan statue has never before been seen publicly. The Satanic Temple says the statue is a symbol for what they advocate: the separation of church and state. This country was based on religious freedom, and uh, tonight, in what the temple is doing, this is a celebration of true religious freedom. Now, it's important to note that the Satan statue will not stay here in Detroit. The Satanic Temple wants to take the statue to Arkansas. At the state capitol there, there is a monument to the Ten Commandments. They want to put the statue next to it as a form of protest. So again, the Satan statue will not stay here in Detroit. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, the controversy will move south. Thank you.